What's up people of YouTube? It's the crazy knife guy and I'm back again with some other updates on some stuff. Here's my big boy Taz. You all know Taz. Look how big he's getting. That's not a very great preference, but look how big he is. And he still tries to eat me if I touch him. Yeah, don't you try it. I know you. You're hungry. I gotta feed him breakfast yet. But you uh, guys may notice I have this video is gonna be posted two days after the prior one of this one I just posted. I just posted the video on the unboxing of my Ontario RD9. And I've done some stuff to it since I've opened it, which you know me, I love doing stuff. He sees it, he thinks it's food. It's not food, bud. All right, first things first, um, the handles were kind of blocky. So as you can probably see, I've done a lot of work to around these. And you can tell there's no coating on that. But yeah, I, did a I think I did a pretty good job of rounding these out. And then the blade, now when I first got it, it had that coating on it, didn't like it. So I took it some Jazzco, I removed the handles, took some Jazzco, and sprayed it all on it, got all that off. And then after I did that, I etched it, which tactical apparently. <laughs> I was really surprised tactical liked the etch that I put on the um, old hickory form, but he liked it. So I was really happy. I do do a lot of etching on a lot of things that are supposed to have coatings because I really don't like coatings on stuff. But I typically leave them on if I'm gonna if I think I'm gonna sell it or something. But yeah, just <laughs> just for quick size comparison, here's an here's an RD9, and then there's him back there. He's not all the way up here either. RD9 is what 16 inches. Yeah, he's big, the big boy. But uh, he's probably two feet now. I'm growing like a weed. Yeah, you are. You hear me talking, I know. But yeah, here's just a little quick update on my um, Ontario RD9. Also, um, there won't be a test video within this week, probably. Um, I'll try. But um, yeah, and also you see a little blue tint. You may not be able to see it, but a little bit of a blue tint that's in there. After I, um, after I acid etched it and I did that, I took some gun blue and lightly uh, just lightly dabbed it on and you can see where the acid etch didn't kind of grab in the middle a lot so uh, in the middle the gun blue kind of shines through a little bit giving it a two-tone look and a really rough scraped up look too which I really enjoy with things but you can definitely see the handles are so much better I got to clean all this up but you know I mean it's a work knife I'm not you know keeping it to make it look pretty I just want it to be very functional so you can check out the handles on that. I mean, it. Sorry if it gets blurry every now and then. There we go. Just check them out. Oh, I, I rounded these out too because people were saying they're really sharp. So I got to fix that side a little bit. But again, to use for work, I rounded these out because I seen where Tactical said the. I don't know if it was Tactical or somebody else. I'm not gonna say it was somebody that I don't know for sure. These were really sharp on it. These little these things so I rounded them out I'm gonna fix them up a little bit more just some hand work but yeah that's this is my um, Ontario RD9 also um, tactical I may be sending something your way let me grab it and uh, I'll show you in just a sec you know you're about to see I'm gonna want back but you can test it and send it back this is my um, quartermaster Thomas Magnum QDR7 that I got has the ghost kydex differential grind on it and the coolest part about it is you can even probably see it on a blade as with a lot of quartermaster stuff I think it's all their stuff they typically do 300 runs of everything um, you could probably see it right here just a little bit possibly you see 205 out of 300 and I'll send a little card with it too so you can you know do all that it's uh, number 205 out of 300 so yeah I might be sending uh, this to you just to do a test and send it back to me. It's an awesome knife. I don't carry it very much, but I do carry it preferably over folders because I just don't like them. But um, yeah, I might be sending it to you. Here's a good size comparison. There you go. It's a great self-defense knife. As you can tell, it just fits like this in your hand. It just fits. A lot of our people say that these, all these weird corners don't work, but for me, they do. It's totally fine. Any way I hold it, I can't really find a problem with it. So this may be coming your way. It depends if you want to do a little test on it. You know, self-defense test stabbing into shit, baton it through a little bit of shit. I don't care. 
But let me know if you want to test it. And uh, as soon as I get some of the money saved up, and I got to get some packages shipped out first. But if you want to test it, definitely let me know, and I'll uh, send it to you so you can give it a test and send it back. All right, thanks for watching. And as always, I'm the crazy knife guy. Keep it crazy.